Hello friends, I am Pushpa Kumawat, Assistant Professor Biani Girls B.A. College. I welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to present a lecture about lesson planning. A lesson planning is a written format of a teaching subject or a topic in which a teacher will decide that how to teach his students, what he has to teach to his students, why he has to teach to the students and how can he make his teaching more effective or more successful. Thus, we can say that a lesson planning is the preparation of a teacher in a written format in which he decides what to teach to his students and the teaching will be based on some specific and general objectives. Thus, a lesson planning always will be in a written format. Now, we are going to discuss the characteristics of or feature of a good lesson planning. There are some features or factors which a lesson plan should have in itself. The first characteristics of a lesson planning is that a lesson planning should be always be in a written form. The second characteristics is that in a lesson planning a teacher should adopt or determine some specific and general objectives or some important and general objectives should be well defined in a, in a lesson planning by the teacher. The third important characteristic is that some important examples should be included in a lesson planning before the students. For example, if a teacher is going to teach uh, verb, then he is going to teach the parts of verb. The first one is transitive and the second one is intransitive. For this, a teacher has to adopt some examples or some living as examples in the classroom for the successful teaching. The next characteristic is that in a lesson planning, the subject, class, time and the average age of a student should be well mentioned. The next is the time for each topic should be predetermined by a teacher in the lesson planning or a teacher has to decide that what time will he take for his topic. The next one is other a lesson planning should always be related to the suitable teaching activities. For example, a teacher is going to uh, teach his student that what is reading skill, then he will uh, present some examples before the students. Like he will uh, say some students to please come before the, uh, before the class and read some poem or some article. For this, he adopt different techniques like he adopt a game method puzzle method, reading newspaper activity and some etc. The next one is a lesson planning always contains reference and reading materials in a written form. And the uh, next one is in a lesson planning some exercises for the evaluation of the students should be adopted by a teacher or at the end of the uh, topic a teacher has to prepare a question paper for the evaluation of his teacher that how had he teach to his students and what his students learnt from his teacher. And the last one is a lesson planning al always be, a be, be in a beautiful and crystallized form. It should be effective for the successful teaching. By the help of these characteristics, we can say that in a lesson planning, a teacher must adopt all these characteristics or factors in his lesson planning. With the help of these components or characteristics, a teacher can make his teaching more and more effective before the students and it will be more suitable to the students and it will be more stable for the all the class and students. Friends, thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and share and for more details log on to our website www.grukpo.com. Thank you once again.